Welcome back to the Sandbox. Thank you so much for coming back to play with me again today. Well, here we are, Camp Buddy. Yuki died giving birth to her puppies, and uh, it's raining outside, and I don't know what this is going to do to Yuichi. This might break him. I mean, he loved Yuki. Oh, I don't know. And we're, we're at a, a very fraught time here, a very sensitive time. I don't know what's going to happen. Katero! What happened to you? You're soaked! Let's get you changed into something dry. You might catch cold. I I'll get some towels. It's a good thing your spare uniform is clean, Katero. What happened? Why were you out in the rain? Whoa, Katero, are you crying? What's wrong, Katero? Please, tell us. Did, did something happen out there? It's... Yuki. She, she died. K giving birth to her puppies. What? Oh, no. Yuichi is devastated. I'm not sure how he's handling it right now. I don't know what I should do. Where is Yuichi now? Why isn't he with you? He's with Scoutmaster Yoshi in the forest. What about the puppies, Katero? Are they okay? Yes, they're with Sir Aiden now. How could this happen? Yuki was completely fine yesterday. She even played with us some the past few days. I don't understand what went wrong either. It was all so sudden. Well, dwelling on why it happened won't change the fact that it was her time. And it's not going to help Yoichi either. Look, guys, we all know how much Yuki meant to Yoichi. But... Times like this are when he needs us to be there for him. Especially you, Katero. You're the one he trusts and relies on the most, after all. But I don't know what to say to him. I was so shocked when I saw what happened, and Yoichi pushed me away, too. I'm really sorry this happened today, Katero. But right now... I bet Yuichi is feeling lonelier than he's ever felt before. I really hate to admit it, but even if he annoys me, Yuichi has always been there for you and tried to do what's best for you. I, sh I have to be by his side no matter what. I should give him some space. What if he pushes me away again? I have to do the same for him. Yeah, I have to do the same. I have to be there for him and try to do what's best for him. I have to try to do the same. And Yuichi only deserves the same from me. I may not know exactly what to say right now, but the best thing I can do is just be there for him. Now that's the Katero I know. Go and see him. You can't keep him waiting. We're counting on you, Katero. We know you can do it, Katero. Th thank you, guys. I'll really do my best. All right, I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> After drying off, I'm getting wet again. Scoutmaster Yoshi. Where is Yoichi? Why isn't he with you? Well, we just finished burying Yuki. I did everything I could to calm him down. He asked me to leave him alone for now, but I believe that he needs you to go and see him. I was just headed over there to see him, sir. Can you tell me where he went? He's at the pier. Katero, I know this may sound strange, but since we all got caught in the rain earlier... Maybe you can help convince Yoichi to change into some new clothes? I can't really bear to see him in a state any worse than he's in now. 
of course, Scoutmaster Yoshi. Wait a minute. So Yoshi wants Yoichi to change clothes because Yo Yoshi can't bear to see him? That's weird. It's not because he might catch pneumonia or anything like that. It's because Yoshi can't bear to see him wet. I don't All right. All right. I leave Yoichi in your hands, Katero. I know that you'll be able to help him see that everything will be all right. Yes, Scoutmaster Yoshi, I will. I'll do my best. There he is. Yuichi must be hurting so much right now. I have to be by his side now more than ever. Yuichi? I, uh... I hope you don't mind if, if I just sit here. You're all wet. Can we get your clothes changed at least? Yuichi, I'm really sorry about what happened. I know that you're feeling devastated right now, but I really want you to know that I'm right here to help you get through all of this. Don't bother. It doesn't matter now anyway. The only family I have left is gone. I'm just back where I started, being alone. It's what I'm used to anyway. Yuichi, I know this may not be the best time to ask, but what exactly happened in your past? All throughout the camp term, I've been learning more and more about you, but I still feel like something is missing. I hope you don't take this the wrong way. I, I'm really grateful for everything that you've said to me. It's wrong of me to try and force you to tell me. But this time, I really want to help you. And the only way for me to help is if I know the truth about what happened. Why did you have to live alone in the streets in the first place? Where's your family? I don't know and I don't care. What I had doesn't have the right to be called a family after all the bullshit they put me through. Why do you hate your family so much? How could I not? I'm an only child, but my so-called mother kept calling me a curse. What do you mean, Yoichi? Every time she looked at me, she was always disgusted by how much I looked like my father. That was reason enough for her to hate me. She would hit me all the time for no reason. I never met my father, so all I know is how much my mother hated him. I... I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. I, is that why you ran away from home, Yoichi? No. Even after all that, I still saw her as my mother. But no matter what I did, she never saw me as her son. She always looked at me like I was some kind of monster. That's terrible. But how did you end up in the streets if you didn't run away from home? I'm sorry. I shouldn't be forcing you to tell me all of this. No, it's all right. I was planning on telling you eventually anyway. You deserve to know everything. For the longest time, my mom was cruel and mean to me. And then one day, she was suddenly nice to me told me to pack up all our things so we could go on a trip and I could have a treat along the way. 
I was gullible and stupid. Once we got to the pier, she gave me some money to buy some ice cream. And by the time I got back, she was just... gone. I was crying and panicking when I tried to look for her until finally I saw her on a ferry, sailing away. She looked down right at me while I was screaming for her. And then she just turned away. And that's when I realized that she had left me to rot alone. Yuichi, I'm so sorry. I had no idea you had to go through all of that. I learned the fence for myself and tried to get by alone every single day. And then I met Yuki. I saw so much of myself in her. She was the best thing that ever happened to me. But now Yuki is gone. And I'm alone again. I lost the only family I had. What about us? Don't you see us as your family, too? I know that no one can ever replace what Yuki was to you. But you're not alone, Yoichi. Scoutmaster Yoshi cares about you. Your friends care about you. And, of course, I care about you. I've never felt the pain and suffering that you have throughout your life, so I can never fully understand what you're feeling right now. But one thing's for sure. It's never easy to lose a loved one. You've stayed so strong your whole life, even after everything that you've been through. That's what I've always admired about you. Yuki wouldn't want to see you sad like this. I'm sure that's why she tried to get away with her last breath. She didn't want you to see her like that. Goodbyes are always painful. But it's not all over, Yuichi. Try not to dwell on the sadness and look at what Yuki left for you instead. She died to give birth to her puppies, and I'm sure that she's counting on you to take care of them, just like you took care of her. I know it's unfair to ask you to move on, but I just wanted to remind you that Yuki's passing doesn't mean that you're alone. You have a family here who will never leave you no matter what. And, of course, I'm here. I really want to have a family with you, Yoichi. That's how much I love you. I didn't know what came over me, but I finally let those words out. I'd always known that there was no other reason for me to care this much for Yuichi. It may have been the harshest of times for him, but I couldn't help but be glad that I shared that moment with him. Yuichi kissed me back, and I was sure that he felt the same way that I did. I felt that he was ready to give up all the sadness and pain and let me in as our lips touched. And he's crying. Yuichi's crying. One little tear. All this time, I guess I've been the stupid one, huh? I almost missed everything you've done for me in our time here at camp. Even at my lowest point, 
Even when I was pushing you away. You're still here for me. I never thought the day would come that I would be able to feel warmth for someone. Losing Yuki. I thought I'd lost my reason to live. But seeing that you're always here for me. I know I can face tomorrow with a smile. That's how much I love you too. As we sat on the pier, I could feel Yoichi's frustration and sadness while we kissed. Yoichi put his hands on me, laying me down on the ground as I watched him mount himself on top of me. It wasn't until then that I knew how much we wanted each other, here and now. Yoichi and I sat down at the pier, watching the sun until it completely set. I could tell that Yoichi was at peace with himself and his past. And now he'd become honest with himself and his feelings too. He changed so much. Yoichi thanked me one last time and we held hands. Before too long, Scoutmaster Yoshi came to check on us. He looked so relieved to see Yoichi acting normally again. And then he asked us to go back and get some rest, reassuring us that Yuki's puppies were well sheltered and taken care of. On our way back to the cabin, Scoutmaster Yoshi patted me on my shoulder and thanked me for being there when Yoichi needed me the most. It's a new day here at Camp Buddy, but playtime is over for now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've never noticed this before. Yoichi was here, is on the chalkboard right back there. That's something Yoichi would do, right? He would totally write that. All right. Uh, playtime's over for right now. Thank you for joining me here in the sandbox. Come back and join me again. And uh, it is a new day, right? In more ways than one. Yoichi has admitted his feelings. He's in love with, with Keitaro. Keitaro is in love with Yoichi. What does that mean? Where do we go from here? I don't know. Come back. We'll find out. We'll see you next time, right back here in the sandbox.